Hello, and welcome back. See, I've been playing a lot of Cuphead recently, ever since it came out over the weekend. And I can confidently say, backed by my many many deaths, that I can give you guys some tips, especially if you guys are starting out in Cuphead. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Alright, first things first is to remap the controls of the game. There's nothing wrong with it per se, I mean the default control just puts everything in the face buttons, but I thought I could do better, and you could do whatever works with you. So what I did was, I remapped the shoot button which currently is on the X button, onto the right trigger. Which just makes sense doesn't it, because it's an Xbox controller, I just, I just figured it feels better on the trigger button. And I moved the uh, lock on button, the one that puts uh, Cuphead in place on the left trigger and everything else pretty much on default. Uh, that control scheme worked well for me and of course it might differ for you. You might get used to the default controls where everything in the, is in the face button but that's how I did mine. Next is to explore the inworld map. I think the studio has done a really really great job in uh, nailing down the aesthetics and the soundtrack for this game. So it can be pretty rewarding when you just explore around and uh, find some secrets and maybe a shortcut or two within the game. Hint hint. And I suggest to also talk to the NPCs because they do have some mini side quests that you can do for them which in return reward you with coins. And what are the coins per se? For upgrades of course, which is next on the list. For the love of god, upgrade. I messed up in the beginning of the game and ended up buying all charms which I couldn't equip except for one at a time. So I had to go through the first island with nothing but my main default weapon which is the pea shooter. So don't do that. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> it's not to say that you can't beat the game with just a pea shooter. It's just that by the time I had money later on to buy an extra gun upgrade, I didn't realize that I was able to beat bosses with a fraction of the time. So I suggest upgrade early on. And now you're gonna ask, well what should I buy? Well this totally depends on you. Because I think early on there's two upgrades that can totally get uh, help you immensely in your game. First, I'd suggest if you're having trouble evading, definitely get the smoke grenade. Uh, buying the smoke grenade gives uh, Cuphead a few frames of invincibility, which totally helps when the, the, the screen is inundated with so much things going on that if you, there's a situation where you can't jump out of the way, you can't dash out of the way, then by equipping the smoke grenade, you can dash and you can escape even though you're surrounded because you have invincibility on. Now let's say you're pretty good at evading and you clear out the screen before you get overwhelmed. Well then I suggest to get the roundabout. The roundabout is really good because the range is pretty amazing that sometimes while even running away from the boss you can still hit it. And I realized later on that while I was using the roundabout that I was beating them in much much faster time so definitely get those two. Either get the smoke grenade first because you're having trouble evading or get the roundabout gun since you can equip two weapons at a time anyway so there you go you're welcome my next tip might seem a little silly like the common sense silly but with this game it can get a little tricky so for my next tip is to make sure you're actually hitting the boss i know i know how do you know if you're hitting the boss well that's easy they're flashing they're blinking they're going off and on, I don't know, but you can tell when you hit them, they change colors. Case in point is the two frogs on one of the bosses in the first island. There's a part uh, near the end where they actually transform into a slot machine. Your shots will hit, you can see it hit, but they're not changing colors. What you actually have to do is to parry the lever, which is uh, pink. And that's when you can actually hit them. When you start shooting them, that's when they start blinking, flashing. If you don't hit the lever and you don't you don't yeah, if you don't parry the lever and pull it, they they just keep throwing coins at you and you're not hurting them at all. So 
make sure you're hitting the boss. I mentioned parrying earlier and that's exactly my next tip is to parry confidently and regularly. Not greedily, just confidently and regularly. I say greedily because sometimes I get too caught up in just parrying that I chase it and I end up dying. So make sure you parry confidently and regularly, not greedily. Anything in pink in this game you can actually parry. And you might ask like why should I parry? Well one thing, when you parry you actually fill the meter for your super. So you parry one, you get a super. And if you fill it up to five, you get your super super or I forgot what it's called, I don't remember what it's called, I think it's the EX super. I use uh, a few terms from fighting games actually. I think it's the EX special. Where you unleash the super attack, which totally helps because you can beat bosses earlier. As well as if you're actually looking forward to getting the A rank, you have to uh, learn how to parry because you need at least 3. It usually is 3. And you need at least 6 supers to uh, fill up the score, get that perfect A, or later on the S ranks. So that's my tip. Learn how to parry regularly and confidently but not greedily. I think that's about enough tip and knowledge I can pardon you guys without being overly too specific on a certain boss or too spoilerish. So if you want to get spoiled or learn specific strategy on a certain boss, there's other YouTube videos for that. This one is just a general tips and tricks towards the game Cuphead. So, let's do a short list, shall we? Or uh, a too long didn't watch. First tip is to change your controls. Second is to make sure you explore the map and talk to the NPCs. Third is to upgrade, upgrade, and upgrade. Fourth is to make sure you're hitting the boss, like legit hitting, like they're flashing. And lastly is to make sure you're parrying regularly and confidently, but not greedily. Alright, I think that's about it, and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Shoot!